everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new my name is maggie and i post tons of cleaning and organization motivation today's video we are working on this hot mess of a laundry room we will be decluttering a lot cleaning and organizing this space so it functions better so this space had basically become this catch-all for anything and everything that you could think of when you have no organization or place to call an item its home, it's easy for you to just start piling or adding random things everywhere and then you pretty much end up with a space that you can't find anything in. I will admit I was so overwhelmed just trying to figure out where and how to start. I decided on the closet because that was my biggest headache to look at. But before we can even get started on the closet, I need to pull some of these items that I have on the floor, like the vacuum, the ladder, the brooms, like all of that. I need to pull it out of here so I can sweep the floor at least so that when I'm pulling things out of the closet, I can have a space to work with um, on the floor. Okay, now that I have a clean floor to work with, I'm going to go ahead and open up these packages. Um, this is everything that I ordered from Amazon to organize this space. So I ordered um, some bins, um, a couple turntables, um, a couple little organizing things for the drawers, and some baskets and then also some command hooks for the for the broom and the mop and stuff so i will have all of this linked for y'all below if you are interested in anything um, that i show here but this is everything that i'm going to work with to organize this space and it all worked perfectly Okay, so everything that I'm pulling out of these shelves, I'm just setting it to the side right here um, because I want to go through all of it, find out what I need to, what needs to go in the, in the trash and also kind of separate a section of what needs to go into the garage. These shelves are pretty beat up from the baskets 
um, as you can see, like, on that spot right there, like, the paint had come off, so I'm gonna have to retouch that, which I'm not gonna do anytime soon, but, and then also, like, the baskets had really scratched up that bottom shelf. But now I am just sorting through everything and just figuring, figuring out what I need to trash and what um, will more than likely go to the garage so I can put that aside. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now So now I am just moving around the bins trying to figure out um, the best setup for everything and then once I figure out how I want to set the bins up then I'm going to start filling them up.
inhibitions I don't need you to come crawling back to me To tell me that you're sorry I'm better now I'm happy I don't need you Cause you've been blocking me Okay, so this is what we have left. So now what I want to do is sort through this and figure out what I can keep here in the baskets and what should probably go to the garage. I don't need Okay, so we are moving on to the next section so we are going to work on this counter space right here and then start pulling everything out of the cabinets as well there's no one other than you who can make me lose my mind you stop me up like no one has ever could you feel my fire what are the odds we end up loving this spending every minute together So I had a bunch of my girls shoes sitting here. They had been here for a couple of weeks, probably longer, but they were full of mud and stuff and I had left them there because I wanted to scrub um, all, as much of that mud off as I could before I put them to wash. So I'm just taking care of that right now. Shadows of where we have been Sleeping with 
your back to me I know, I know, I know this isn't us Baby, pull me closer, let's fall in love So this is everything that I have pulled out of the laundry room. Well, minus that blue bin and wreath in the back and the basket of shoes. This is everything that I pulled out. Some of this stuff is trash. Some of it needs to go into the garage. Um, some of it is going to go back into the laundry room just um, in a better spot, like better organized. So I'm just taking care of a little bit of it, like what needs to go in the garage and then these towels and stuff, I'm going to throw them in the wash. I was just trying to make some room so we can at least walk, um, walk through there because I couldn't even get to the garage with everything on the floor. But now we're going to go right back into the sorting and organizing. So I'm going to be using this bin to store all the gift bags that I have and also all the tissue paper um, and like the gift bags, like the clear ones, like anything bag related. I'm just going to stick in this bin. And that you miss me. It's always the same story with you, but I just cannot with you.
So these white organizers worked out perfect for the drawers. Um, you can like snap them in together. I used a couple in each drawer for different things. Told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so On. If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me We are almost to the finish line with this laundry room. I am just getting the last of these little things put away, trying to figure out um, where I should put them. Um, I kind of wish I had ordered a little bit more bins, but I didn't want to order too many and then not need them. Um, I guess I could have used them in other spaces around the house, but I didn't want to go overboard. I just wanted to get the things that I for sure knew I needed. I pull you in, then I throw you out, but I swear 
I'm going to go ahead and do some cleaning. I'm going to go ahead and um, clean this countertop that has not been empty in a very, very long time. It's always been filled with things, so it is very satisfying to see nothing on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sweep the floor. Okay, so I bought these command hooks um, to hold the broom, the Swiffer, and the mop. And um, I thought this was a lot better than having to, like, use those, like, broom holders that you have to drill into the drywall. These, um, it's just more cleaner, and I really like them. They came in a pack of three. They were easy to put on. Um, it's very easy to stick the broom on there and take it off. Like, I definitely recommend them. Okay, so now we're coming back to this hot mess that I have right outside of the laundry room. So I'm just going to um, gather the trash and go take it out. And then um, that car seat base, I'm going to go put it in my daughter's closet because um, I'm going to need that for the new baby. And then um, that red bucket, I'm going to take that out to the garage because my husband uses that when he washes the cars. And now I'm going to start wiping down the baseboards, which I've been um, trying to do this every time with the spaces that I clean, um, just because they have gotten really bad. Last thing I'm going to do is just Swiffer the floors and then I'm going to give y'all a before and after shot of this space and oh my gosh you guys the difference like it, it looks so good.
So my Dyson vacuum is just going to sit in that corner of um, the space because I need to get my husband to mount it on the wall for me. And then um, my big vacuum, I don't like that I have to keep it there. I need to find um, somewhere else to put it, but that's where it is now. But either way, like the space just looks so much better with like the broom and all of that off of the floor. Like it just looks really good. But that is it for today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see y'all next week with a brand new video. Oh,